Hey everybody, Sam here with AEM Electronics and today I've got Matt and Caleb with me, two of our technical support specialists. They're going to be helping me putting the Tesla large drive unit back into this EL1 Camaro. So if some of you guys have been following along, me and Kirk has already swapped over the Quaif Limited Slip Differential from the base drive unit to the performance drive unit. Following video, we went ahead and swapped our AEM inverter control board from the base drive unit to the performance drive unit. The unit's now ready to go back into the subframe. The whole subframe is ready to go back into the car here. Let's get to work. Let's get it. Yeah, typically you want to get the half shafts in first. You know, you want to undo some of the suspension arm pickup points so that the, the knuckles can swing out so you can get that angle that you need for the axles. This is a modified subframe to get the Tesla LDU into it, but by FDU rules, you have to use a factory subframe and the pickup points can only be moved so far. They have to work with that. Some of the modifications did cut into the pickup points, but they're still the factory pickup points. So the suspension geometry is exactly the same as factory. Um, just has a, a large, electronic motor between the two, the two wheels instead of, a, instead of a regular diff. Imagine when they make subframes for this. You want to tighten up the motor or you want to do the suspension first? I'll tighten up the motor. I'll start working on the suspension bits. There's a pump, there's an electric pump here. There's a little reservoir. It drains down to the pump. The pump pushes fluid in through the motor and inverter. Normally a fitting that goes here, pumps it in, it goes through the motor, inverter, and it comes out of a fitting on this side, back through this line into the top of the canister. Um, there is an expansion tank here as well, uh, but typically the coolant levels never get high enough to really need the expansion tank. But, you know, it's a race application, so you want to be prepared for everything. Sam. Looking up coolant lines and the special little EV West adapter here. So we're gonna have AN fittings on this. Then the other line hooks up on that side, Caleb. So I feel like that goes like that. Yeah, so I'd assume that to that. Okay, getting AN lines lined up. There it goes. That looks more better. More better. That looks way much more better. Is that a Tesla pump? Uh, no, it's uh, Mezier. Mezier? Yeah, Mezier. Oh, really? Right. Hopefully I pronounced that one right. So we have the motor now bolted down into the subframe. I've got some HV cables in my hand. These cables go from the fuse box that's underneath the car that's being supplied by the main high voltage battery to a contactor box in the back of the car. So the contactor is somewhat like a big relay. We're not always sending power directly to the motor all the time. We only send it to it when we need it when we command a pre-charge process. Um, so we're just gonna lay this across the top of the whole assembly so that it's in position, the installation. So we're gonna have to try to snake this over after it's already bolted in. So we'll just lay it there and we'll get underneath the car and start bolting it up. All right, Caleb, let's start jacking up the, the other side. This jack is in the way. Yeah, we're probably gonna hit a pallet on the jack. Yeah. Right, uh, let's slide it back. Let's see if we can slide the whole assembly forward on the, on the pallet first. No one comment on my form, all right? I think we're good right there. You got plenty of them. Couple inches, I think we're probably about there. Let's start lowering the car. Uh, oh, are you going down? anything? One bolt started. Probably, uh, we can probably take out the pallet, yeah? Matt, you done with that bolt? Hey, Matt, can you give me something to cut a zip tie? Like a actual cutter, not a razor blade. Is a razor blade cool? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Did you say not a razor yeah, blade? Yeah, not a razor blade. Yeah. I don't All think right. you have anything there. I Maybe hear what you're the... saying, but here's a razor blade. Yeah, that plugs into the contactor box? No. no I didn't plug it in. Go for it. Just gotta tighten up the reservoir. And done. Oh. Drive unit back in the subframe, subframe back into the car, all in about an hour, hour and a half with three guys. Car's got to go back on the dyno, update the calibration a little bit, we'll probably shoot a little video on that, show you guys some of the features and options and tables, give you an idea of what that software looks like and what you can do with it. And if you guys like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And also, don't forget to comment. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down there in the comment box. We'll be happy to answer it, get back to you guys, give you some whatever information. That's a wrap. Look forward to seeing you guys. Gotta get that right. Thanks,